is I'm going to show how easy it is to connect the Move SE to OBS. And I've actually already got it connected and I'm going to kind of work backwards from here to show how I got here. But I've got the Move SE connected to OBS here over NDI. I also have, by the way, a PTZ controller built in to the OBS interface for this camera. Uh, but I'm going to take a step back and show how I got all this set up so that you guys can see just how easy it is to control your Move SE camera from OBS. So I'm going to start completely fresh here. Get rid of this. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the plus button um, and I have the NDI plugin installed on OBS. Now, you can also uh, connect to this camera via HDMI, maybe like a Blackmagic A10 Mini. You can connect to it via SDI. There's a lot of ways to connect it to OBS, but one of the easiest is to connect over NDI. And I'm going to go ahead and call this my Move SE NDI source there, and I'm going to click OK. And in this uh, layout here, what, what it does is this, is this is when you have the NDI plugin installed, you can choose between any of the NDI sources that are available on your network. It's going to automatically find them all. And the camera that I'm going to connect to is going to be this one here, the Move SE 30X. And I have the bandwidth set to highest, so that's the highest quality it's option. We can allow hardware acceleration, because we do have a nice uh, capture card and, or not capture card, we have a nice graphics card in this computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK here. And that is gonna bring the video in over NDI. So we've brought the video in. Now, how did I get these beautiful camera controllers on the side here? Well, one of the things that you can do is you can go to docs at the top of OBS and you can add custom browser docs. And PTZ Optics has a free custom browser docs that you can download. And I've already downloaded them on my computer and uh, you can get them off of our website. They're actually HTML files that when you open them, this is what they look like. And you can actually take the HTML URL of that file and add it in as a doc in the OBS. So I have a small controller and I have a large controller. And so my small controller is down here. So I've just got a very simple PTZ controller that allows me to zoom in and out, control it. And then I also have over here, I have a larger um, setup here where I can set and like, for example, let me set a preset here. I can sign, set a preset, call one preset, call another preset. Hey. And so that is how the OBS controller works here. In preferences, you can go into here and do all kinds of stuff like flipping the image, but this is where you put the IP address of your camera. So you do need to, you probably should set a static IP address for your camera. Once you set that up, you can load it in here. Now you've got very simply, you have over Ethernet, over the network, right? You have a PTZ camera in your OBS software. You've got your pan tilt zoom controls. And uh, you can even do, I'll just throw one extra thing here. You can create a scene, let's call this scene two. And you can actually bring in a PTZ preset with, so if I add this existing one here, you can actually add a PTZ preset into the uh, scene. If I add it as a browser source here, you can actually put the HTTP command for uh, calling a preset on your PTZ Optics camera. And whenever you switch to that scene, it will actually call that PTZ preset. So you could have a scene for the piano, mm -hmm. a scene for this, a scene for that, and you don't even need to call the presets over here. I've seen a lot of our customers do that, especially in houses of worship. But uh, that concludes how to connect the Move SE to OBS.